We begin your reporters at 630 in Northern Colorado tonight, where students and staff at Ames Community College in Fort Lupton are taking the lead when it comes to integrating artificial intelligence into our workforce. That includes how we train our future trade workers. Your reporter in Northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas, joined Congressman Gabe Evans and the Deputy Secretary of the Department of Labor to learn how and why AI is fitting into the workforce. In the small town of Fort Lupton, Ames Community College is typically filled with young students, the future of our workforce. But Thursday, Congressman Gabe Evans and Department of Labor Deputy Secretary Keith Sonderling were the ones taking courses. Well, it's really important for me to get out and see real workforce development training happening in real time. Sonderling and Evans learned about how artificial intelligence is changing the way we educate the next generation of America's workforce. Is it 100% of the student body that uh, has to interact with AI or what, what percentage of the student so body? So right now, it, organically, at least 80 to 90% of the students are interacting with it on a daily basis. Yeah. It's a really nice tool. It makes everything a lot quicker. From welding to mapping, drones, and even trucking, <laughs> the duo shifted their attention from D.C. to Colorado Congressional District 8. The president wants to make America skilled again. How are we going to do that? Just like community college and Ames are doing here, teaching skills that are actually going to get people jobs that they need to help this economy continue to prosper. Naturally, many fear that artificial intelligence may threaten the future of their career. I asked the deputy secretary how he envisions AI working alongside careers and not replacing them. This technology is really meant to help students and eventual workers understand their jobs and do their jobs better in a more safe and efficient environment. And that's why it's really excited to see how technology is going to work hand in hand with these students, not replace them. And they're excited about that. Ames staff says there is AI literacy and AI competency and they're hoping to be the bridge between the two for students. All of our courses will have a little bit of an AI component, and so our students, when they go out into the workforce, they're ready, and they're going to thrive. And that's what Ames is doing. You're, mm -hmm. You are building that workforce with modern cutting edge technology to be able to drive us into the middle of the 21st century so that we truly can build it and make it here. And we have to build it and make it here because the United States is not alone on the globe. In Fort Lupton, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All really fascinating stuff.